How old is he? He's four. He is so cute. <laughs> How does it's your the first time I ever was really introduced to him. Yeah. How does your neighbor's dog handle the heat, the heat in Florida year round? Um, Frank, he's young. He's only about a year. Well, no, a he's lot maybe better. two years old. He, yeah, he's lazy, lazy. He doesn't. But when he sees me, I get this dog so wound up. He goes crazy. Yeah, I mean, they, they don't do well in the heat. The last month's been really bad here in New York. So. But, but he's pretty heavy. Frankie's not so heavy. Yeah, I know. You know, when, when the fall uh, comes around, I can get him down to Carl Shores Park and back. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's we can walk like about a mile. <laughs> but it's got to be cool. Now, you know, They're a walk like that would kill him. Zone. Yeah. Yeah, pretty mellow. Hi. Sure, go ahead. Yeah, you, have to, you have to pay You have to pay with a levain cookie, though. Just kidding. Oh, yeah, I need to give you <laughs> So last, thing he needs, so last thing he needs is 500 calories. Oh, well, actually, he's smelling the food. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I think he's more interested in pepperoni. Good night. I like Sam all the time, but I saw his Instagram the other day, and I was so happy. Good night. Good night. He's looking at the bag and he's thinking there's something in it. Yeah, he knows there's something always in the bag. He's probably wishing it was, you know, pepperoni or something. Good night. See you.
Yeah, it's about four minutes, five minutes to 8 p.m. Uh, Junior could walk about a good mile um, when the weather's just right. Or more. I mean, I don't push him though. It's when it's hot, but we, we have to cut it back. Rhodesian puppy I've seen. Really? No, um, I agree with Jeff. So it's funny, you, after you guys left, right, we hung out over there for a little while. They're, they basically, she just did Ruby, meaning like she would just lay down exactly like the same manner as the prayer, head I, down this way, right? I watched, when you went upstairs, I watched her lie down. I was like, it's, it's so It's exactly identical to Ruby, right? And so, no, but they, they, they basically faced each other. Yeah. And then they both flopped down and both put their head down in front of each other. Nice. It was just really funny. They were indifferent to each other to a degree. Yeah. Right? I, I thought I thought she might just end up being a little like too much and uh, too much energy for oh, Ruby. Oh, she, she, she laid down. You know, it's funny. Um, I, so the woman Andrea who has that I don't know if you run into Koa, right? The big male, the the male Ridgeback that's like I see every now and then that stops by. I think I've seen it. Koa, once. he has yeah. a bow. He always has a bow tie on, right? Yeah. Um, she's the one who runs our little, little Ridgeback meetup that we do into the next to the every now and then. But anyway. She's had a male and a female. She said her female was exactly like Ruby in the sense that she was lazy, she wanted to sunbathe, she, you know, was indifferent, like, you know, much more um, calm. The boy is, like, goofy and always wants to go out and, like, do things, right? And he hasn't, like, doesn't lose, has not lost that um, mentality, I guess you'd say, right? Oh. Junior. But, you, but imagine having two high-energy dogs. You have to, you know, 
Well, listen, if I'm gonna get a one, I'm not gonna get another female. I'm gonna get a male. Right? No, I was gonna say if you have one, you I mean you can handle the energy and run over and, and, and burn off the energy of a high energy dog. You can do it with two. Yeah. It's just that you know you're. Ruby, so the interesting thing I don't remember, and it's funny that probably reminded me of this. I don't remember Ruby ever being like high energy ever, really, unless there was squirrels in front of her. Right? No, but when you take her to the park, that's where no, you, she does you realize right? you realize she's got all this but energy. But if, she if I don't, burn. but here's the thing: if I don't, and I don't, and I remember this too as a puppy with Ruby as well. Even if she didn't go to the park, she just yeah. sleeps, right? They have like a way, like these uh, large dogs, at least, right? They, yeah, they, they basically can put themselves to sleep in hibernation mode. Yeah, do you, do you, I, they're like the rule of thumb with getting a dog is like, can I match the dog's energy? Number one, you know what I mean? Well, the common misconception is that a big dog needs a lot of, uh, a lot of. Uh, no, but there are dogs that are runners. You know, the, the dogs instance, with the dogs with the, the things that she, uh, wine runners, and. Yeah. Um, uh, Beachlets, where she gets yeah. confused with all the time, they're all very, very high. Yeah, energy, dogs, right? dogs with uh, dogs that you know need a job. Mm-hmm. Well, so yeah, yeah, like if they're working dogs. They're, yeah, uh, yeah. Those are the ones that need the energy burned off. Uh, you know, non-sporting group dogs generally don't. What are bulldogs? Uh, are they toy? No, they're non-sporting. Non-sporting. Yeah, yeah. It's just like they're that mi- they're that mishmash of uh, of dogs that just end up being. Um, 